Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 15 Thoughts. This episode is called Rise and Shine. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to, including this episode, but not for the thing that came out after this episode first premiered. The episode is rated TV 14, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah. Uh, Hail suggests that it's time for Hydra and S.H.I.E.L.D. to unite, which yeah they they keep finding ways to keep hydra interesting and yeah a lot of this episode is the the flashback aspect and honestly hail as a teenager nazi teacher's pet or teacher's nazi pet or teacher's pet nazi fantastic um yeah just and they like the the actress works this fine line you know she she avoids it doesn't feel like she's just impersonating let's see it's Al Alyssa Gerald's is playing young hale it's not like she's just impersonating Catherine Dent, who plays adult General Hale, but there's just enough, you know, yeah, they, they look and talk significantly enough alike. And, let's see, yeah, um, and I appreciate seeing a young Jasper Sitwell, uh, young Baron Von Strucker and yeah Daniel Whitehall rocking an American accent and and yeah this thing of uh, you know Von Strucker is obsessed with the the past the the Tesseract which you know yeah when we see him in Age of Ultron yeah he's still you know, yeah, his ideas are old-fashioned by the, you know, the standards of, of the, yeah. Whereas, you know, yeah, Hale points out, you know, I want to go to space, you know, and, and yeah, um, the, uh, you know, the others laugh at her. But, but yeah, Whitehall points out, you know, some forward thinking, you know, and that was also a great moment because, yeah, like, for a second we think, oh, you know, she completely blew it, you know, she, she gets to meet her idol and it's, you know, yeah, she's, her idea is too radical. And, and yeah, we can, you know, quick close-up of Strucker. And we can see he is not okay with being shown up by her. There's probably some misogyny in there in addition to him just being spoiled in general. And, yeah, the attack with the weight, like, holy crap. Like, that literally could have killed her. You know, she had not been able to get the, the weight uh, stick, whatever, Back on the the thing, you know, yeah, the the it could have crushed her her throat. So you know, this goes beyond like hazing or, or mild. You know, this is not mild bullying. This is literally, yeah. And I kind of appreciate that, you know. So so yeah, she she, you know, beats him up, and then. Like, yeah, we think, oh, this means that she's going to be punished, even though it wasn't her fault. You know, he started it, but, and and his was a murder attempt, hers was just, you know. Like, I, f I feel like you're entitled to, to beating someone up if they try to kill you. But the, the and, and right, and he didn't even get his own hands dirty. He had other people do it, as always. Never surrender! I'm going to surrender. And the, the, yeah, the, she's not punished for it. She's actually sort of rewarded for it, which is almost worse. Like, yeah, and especially considering the supposed reward. And yeah, we see her 
wake up and and great contrast because yeah you know the first time she wakes up she's like happy there the you know she's got a dog she, the, the you know music is pop music is playing which is also how we see Ruby wake up a little later in the episode but yeah she wakes you know next morning she wakes up now gone I mean the the dog is is gone and then we learn no they didn't take her dog because she beat up Strucker. They made her kill her dog as a graduation. Yeah. And let's see. The yeah. And and Whitehall says there are few females who made it to commencement. I don't think it's accidental. I don't think he's using female as just like neutral. It feels like he's he's using it as like, you know, oh those females, that other species, those lesser beings, you know, it's it's he sounds like the manosphere or something. So yeah, very nicely done, which you know, yeah, by this episode was from 2018. Yeah, by then, you know, there were not everyone but certain people, if they use the word female, they're, you know, yeah, they're not, they're, they're using it to try to, you know, yeah, or like a, um, yeah, moving on. It's, it's like the, the you know, Jor it, it's giving Jordan B. Peterson. And... Let's see, the... Yeah, and and yeah, we we learn you know oh she's not going to run the the machine, she's going to you know they're going to artificially inseminate her, and she's gonna be the mother of the future, and you know like like you know <laughs> evil mirror version of Sarah Connor basically, and yeah um that is. Because cause they legitimately don't, you know, she's spent all this time trying to prove that she's just as good as the, the boys, and and still all they see her, you know, they, they look at her and think, ooh, incubator, you know, and yeah, you know, she she argues, you know, do, do, is it possible for, for me to, get, you know, be another... And he says, you always have a choice whether or not to comply, which, you know, she knows what that means, and we, the viewer, know what, you know, yeah, him, him and complying is, yeah, you know, like, like, literally, if she doesn't agree to it with her own, you know, he's going to put her in the mind-melty brainwashing machine, and and you know just force her to you know but he's saying one way or the other you are going to do this uh we can you know easy way or hard way and let's see yeah and we see yeah then, then we see if you know i i forget how many months it said it was i think it was more than six months but yeah you know you have the yeah you know, Ruby wakes up, she's got a dog, happy, pop music is playing, <clears throat> and she got along better with Hale uh, back then. Uh, you know, there was, there was still a little bit of teasing, but it was playful, it wasn't, like, snarcastic. And, yeah, very cool when she's kicking ass, Ruby is, and especially like at one point she does like a what do they call those backwards somersault or something and she does like this sweep kick that hits two just yeah really really badass and let's see yeah and and ruby makes you know she she does not want to give up her dog and she makes some really good points you know she points out weakness is going along with the rules that have gotten us decimated you know she it's a it's a really good point and this is that thing of young you know us as younger people are more willing to change things whereas you know stereotypically speaking 
whereas like middle-aged and and elderly are more set in their ways more likely to be conservative it's not true of everyone you know my dad's 80 he's very left wing so but the you know so the stereotype goes and there is such a thing as as young conservatives i'm just talking tendencies but the the yeah you know it's it's a yeah she makes a really really good point and 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 hale shoots the 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 guy and you know it's like now it's just the two of us now we're the only two left you know the, the thing cut off one head two more spring forth and <laughs> I like to help but saying that he outranks captain crunch wow and it was also really devastating seeing him struggle to to come back from being shot in the head and and you know scaring the little boy his son and <laughs> yeah um Talbot 100% fails the the ruby playing hard to get test you know like Werner did okay Colson aces it but Talbot actually like tries to to grab her and and yeah you know she she gets a hold of his hand and and does the the little twist thing Yeesh. and then we get a flashback within a flashback inception as she explains the first time she saw the the machine for communing with the confederacy and yeah she claims that symbols are irrelevant and we're clearly meant to disagree with her on that but that you know that is like you know Americans have that drilled into their heads from they're old enough to understand words you know nothing is more important than the American flag you know if 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 someone is protesting you know murder of members of their community and we tell you that they're disrespecting the flag you know the flag's more important than their lives what can we say it's it's very harmful is what I'm getting at Let's see and and like legitimately if you can't tell the difference between kneeling during the national anthem to communicate that you're against police brutality and like you know just yeah, saying that the the troops are are suckers. Oh wait, no, those were Trump's words. And let's see them. Yeah, I I love when when Talbot calls her calamari matahari. Beautiful, just yeah. Let's see. And yeah, and the thing you know, I'd rather die on my two legs than was a slither on eight with you uh they don't have you know squids don't have legs they have tentacles they're cephalopods and see. yeah and and colson dealing with ruby and you know he can say oh yeah they're supposed to throw me off you know with with your silence and i do appreciate you know when he walks away we see yeah she's not actually listening to music she's pretending to you know yeah to, to psych out the the other yeah and yeah I like him saying you know yeah I you know this is not the most impressive place I give it a C ooh oops old berries C plus and yeah um, he points out you know, do you really think the Confederacy is not going to make us slaves? Yeah, very nicely done. And and yeah, you know, they talk about oh, you know, is is Ruby supposed to go in the machine? I don't know. This is, if you're trying to convince me that this is going to be a long conversation, and and Hale says no, I'm thinking Daisy, because the she doesn't know she hasn't been to the future you know the this is the destroyer of worlds 
program. And, and you can appreciate, yeah, they think it's other worlds that are going to be destroyed, you know. When, when we heard it in, in the future, in earlier episodes in the show, you know, we were thinking, oh, it's like, you know, that's something people said about Quake after she did that. You know, the, the like, um, what was the name again? I'll, I'll have it momentarily. Um... Uh, let's see. Yeah, like, were people calling Robert Ford a coward before he assassinated Jesse James? You know, it's it's trying to, you know, say, ah, oh, we, we hate them for, for doing what they did kind of thing. But no, you know, and, and yeah, leave it to Hydra to, to think they can control something so dangerous. And let's see. and and at the same time, like you can kind of understand where she's coming from, you know. Yeah, they're they're telling us we're going to be destroyed if not. You know, it's <clears throat> it's mutually assured destruction. Essentially, it's you know, you think you have a big gun, well, I have a really big gun. So you know, and yeah. Hale, you know, starts saying, you know, ah, oh, you're. I thought you would listen, but you're just like the rest of them. It's like, I th I think she's supposed to be like a rad femme, radical feminist kind of thing of, you know, oh, she just hates all men, and it's like, I'm not claiming that there's not a single rad femme out there, and I, I do appreciate their, you know, every, every movement has extremists that end up hurting the the cause but yeah I just I I mean I suppose other female characters on the show are meant to represent positive feminism which is most feminism almost all feminism in in recent years the you know or sadly originally it it kind of excluded you know, very early feminism was, you know, a lot of it was specifically for, you know, straight white, middle class, white women. You know, it wasn't for the rest of, of women, but in more recent years, they've gotten better at addressing that. Let's see. And I mean, at least, you know, most of the villains on the show have been men who are not, you know, it's it's not suggested that they're better than women. You know, not, not the biggest fan. Maybe, maybe they can have a, a line in an upcoming episode. This is not the last time we see Hale. Maybe one of the other women can, can tell her off and we'll get, a, a, yeah, holding out hope. And let's see. Then we have the um, yeah. Um, Ruby goes to Colson and says, "You know, my mom said destroy a world's program fails. How did I fail? You know." And yeah, he he tells her, "Hate to burst your bubble. Wasn't talking about you. Quake." And, you know, yeah, Colton refuses to, to help Ruby. And then she says, I want to show you what happened to the last guy who said that to me. And we see, you know, Talbot. And he says, he, you know, I do give everything. And and again, just like really devastating to, to see. And he's like muttering to himself, he's, he's, a, he's a broken man. And yeah, we we Fitz says he doesn't regret what he did, you know, what he did to Daisy, which I do really appreciate. Like he knows that's not exactly gonna help him get back out of this cell anytime soon. But he's you know being honest. And yeah, I like the little moment of yeah. So so Simmons manages to get the the robot arm working for Elena, and then you have 
example of that I will just deal with that real quick. I thought I had, but I apparently hadn't. There we go. I don't even know if the sound registers for that, but it would bug me if not. I did have it set to vibrate. Anyway, yes, the the yeah, you know, you have this moment of, you know, Mac is like, do, do you need fits for that? Since, you know, he's the one with robotics. She's the doctor. You know, he's he's the engineer. But, yeah, she seems to... And and we have this thing of, you know, the, the um, Elena has been acting like she was bulletproof recently. Not an uncommon thing for this team. And, and, yeah, he explains, you know, she thinks she can't be killed because she was alive in the lighthouse in the future. And Simmons just says, interesting, and that's, of course, that's how she realizes that, you know, she and Fitz are going to get back together. See, they got so little time together, like, what one episode after getting married, and now they're being pulled apart. And, you know, in the future, they spend a lot of time apart, just, yeah. See, and yeah, some really great moments between Fitz and and Daisy. You know the the yeah this thing you know the exchange about I had no choice, you had no choice, and you know she said on this team we don't turn on each other, and then he says, would you like me to list all the times you have, you know which. It's it's one of those things like you know there's you know context is kind of important, but yeah you know there have been times where she went against the the rest of the the team so yeah uh, let's see you know we have the um, right uh, yeah I I kind of feel like Fitz is now like the new Grant Ward you know. Um, very complicated relationship with Daisy he is in love with. A woman on the team he's in their cell and there's these tense confrontations Fitz really you know has a has complex feelings when it you know I don't think he's gonna torture himself like he tortured Grant but and and yeah um, uh, Simmons tells Fitz the deke is is theirs and he's my our grandson yes but he's the worst and let's see yeah and and imdb trivia notes the graduates of hydra's academy are expected to kill their pets at the end as a rite of passage to defeat weakness this is the same way john garrett makes grant ward kill his dog in the woods before he's officially recruited very nicely done you know we didn't see garrett at this you know yeah i guess let's see would the timeline match up i'm not 100 percent certain if he graduated before for example sitwell we see sitwell graduate yeah you know the the but yeah that's where he has it from and this is making it canon that all of them have to and let's see right uh, yeah I, you know Colson makes a reference to Independence Day we will not go quietly into the night <laughs> Colson says General Hale has Ivan Drago on the payroll also a good reference and Yeah, a bunch of great quotes from the episode are in the. Yeah. Um, let's see. Just looking for a really great quote to end on and. Right, I, I appreciate May trying to, to guide Daisy by use you know, saying, Remember combat training, take what you have, use it to your advantage. You know. 
and and that is it is true of of leadership as well as combat. You're familiar with Dr. Whitehall? I buried him. Go team. Right. I hate to break your apocalyptic bubble, but it wasn't you. Yeah. Let's see. And and it is also like I I kind of appreciate that Ruby finds out, you know, apparently I crack the world open like an egg. You know, how do I stop that? You know, she's not like, oh no, she's just like, mm, gotcha, that's feedback, I can use that, could you tell me more, you know. Hail is Hydra. Hail Hydra. And I do appreciate, like, they go out of their way with the, the cereals. Oops All Berries, Captain Crunch. Yeah. Let's see. Our daughter's obviously going to marry some belligerent space goon if she's going to give birth to a deke. I see you've met my daughter. CrossFit Tinkerbell's your daughter? 